Hey everyone, we're back, and today I'm painting an agami heron in my poems about you watercolor. I promptly made a mistake almost 10 minutes into this drawing, realizing that that spot right there needs to be red and not blue. I don't know much about agami herons. Um, I grew up around a lot of great blue herons and egrets, but this is my first time finding a bird similar to this uh, in my reference folder, so I decided to paint it. Um, I used a lot of Caput Mortuum here for the red portion and also for the eye, and then I went in with kind of a golden, almost cadmium yellow mix uh, for the face here. I also made sure that the mix was incredibly saturated so the contrast between it, the blue feathers, and the red eye really stood out. Something else you'll notice about this piece as we go along is that I didn't plan anything before I started painting this because I thought this was just going to be a quick sketch and then I decided to make it a full painting. So I really messed up in the proportions of the body to the neck. I honestly think it ended up turning out just fine, but really <laughs> right here was where I was like, oh wait, no, I have to make the back a little bit more rounded. I also didn't end up adding any legs um, because it just didn't come up. So it's kind of an unfinished piece, but I'm really happy with how this specific watercolor blend came out. Here I am painting kind of the crest and then going in with some of the finer details like the feather on the wings and then some markings around the mouth. Uh, this part was particularly stressful to me. I then went in with some colored pencil around the eye, both for the black uh, iris pupil, where it's pupil, <laughs> pupil of the eye, um, and also kind of red around the iris. This next part of the piece was definitely one of my favorites. It had a very zen tangle doodly vibe, but it's really just adding the contrast of the feathers of the neck with the dark color of the body. And I kind of blocked it out a little bit because as you'll see later, the lower half of the chest and neck kind of get covered with this light blue feathering. Um, but yeah, I went in with my white gel pen. Uh, I haven't used it in a while, so it was super clogged and I was super worried that I was gonna have to do this whole thing with like paint and gore wash and not get that fine detail, but nope, it ended up working out just fine, and now I have this beautiful detail of the feathers. And then, after this part, um, I went in with some gouache, and this was actually a mix of white gouache and blue watercolor. So I used indigo specifically, um, kind of covering up that same shade of indigo there with the white indigo mix. And I really liked how this initial color turned out, completely forgetting that gouache fades into kind of a lighter color as it dries. This is something I've been trying to practice a lot, so you really have to mix a couple of shades darker than you actually want on the page, but I just haven't gotten that quite down, so I went in several times with different shades kind of on top of this, um, and ultimately ended up with a product that I really like. And here I am adding a few more details with the lightness of the feathers. I'm really proud of that feathering detail right there on the chest. I then went in with some white highlights and blended those in, both on the crest and on the wings itself. I kind of blended the head a little bit better into the rest of the body, and here's the finished piece. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I know it's not finished, the uh, lack of legs there is really throwing me off. But yeah, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next week.